What is going on, Pats Nation? It's Patriots Global back here with another video, and in this one, the New England Patriots continue to make some more moves here, this time signing free agent wide receiver slash running back slash special teamer Ty Montgomery from the New Orleans Saints. Now, I was actually pretty surprised at the deal that they gave Ty Montgomery. They're going to be giving him a two-year deal worth about $4 million. Now, the money doesn't surprise me. He's averaging about $2 million a year, but it surprised me that they gave him a two-year contract rather than just a one-year prove-it deal. Now, Montgomery has been with a few different teams since joining the league in 2015. He was originally a third-round pick by the Green Bay Packers. With that being said, he's played with the Green Bay Packers, he's played with the Baltimore Ravens, and most recently, he's played with the New Orleans Saints. The best way that I can put this signing into comparison, and I'm sure a lot of people are going to hear this, is your poor man's Cordero Patterson. That's pretty much what Ty Montgomery is. That's kind of the role he's going to bring. This is your classic Bill Belichick signing. This guy brings versatility. He's not going to be a one-dimensional guy. He's going to bring uh, different packages to the offense and Bill Belichick, this offensive coaching staff, they're going to be able to utilize him in a multitude of different ways, and he brings along, like I mentioned, that special team's ability, actually an elite special teamer, which I'm sure Belichick really likes about Montgomery's play, and I'm sure is a big reason why he signed here. Now, I'm going to be completely honest with you guys. This is not a splash move. This is not a move that should have high expectations on it. If he plays wide receiver for this team, which... He's a very subpar wide receiver at this point in his career. You're looking at a wide receiver four, wide receiver five role for him. If you're looking at running back, you're looking at running back four, running back five. More, more likely running back four, though. Now, I have heard some people say that this signing could mean the end of Gunnar Olszewski's time here in New England, and if that does end up being the case, I do not agree with that. Now, the special teams aspect of Ty Montgomery's play, he does bring some special teams ability as a return man, but mainly he's more of a tackling special team guy, the type of guy that is going to help cover punts, who's help going, help going to cover kickoffs. I wouldn't mind seeing Ty Montgomery be a kick returner for the Patriots because that is a role that we've needed to be filled for several seasons, but if you're telling me that he's going to take over as a punt returner over Gunnar Olszewski, I don't agree with that. Gunnar is easily and hands down the Patriots' uh, best return man in the punting game, well better than Ty Montgomery in that aspect also. But at the end of the day, if this is the case, then it could also come down to money. Maybe Belichick believes that Gunnar Olszewski is going to make more than he's willing to pay Gunnar. Uh, as again, Ty Montgomery here is going to make an average of about $2 million a year. Now, whether it's the backfield, whether he's playing uh, as a receiver, he'll likely be a perimeter receiver at that. He'll bring a decent size, six foot. 216 pounds, especially if we're looking at the backfield, he'll immediately be the Patriots' biggest running back. And he's always played at number 88 in his entire career, so if I had to guess the number he'd be taking over with the Patriots, I'm guessing it would be number 88. Montgomery is going to be more of a gadget piece. He's somebody that you are going to use in certain packages, but he is not going to be a starting piece. He's not going to be a game-changing piece. This past season for the New Orleans Saints, he appeared in 14 games. He had a total of 15 rush attempts for 44 yards. He was averaging 2.9 yards per carry. And then in the receiving game, he was targeted 26 times for 16 receptions for 95 yards, averaging 5.9 yards per reception and zero touchdowns. He put up zero touchdowns both in the rushing game and in the receiving game, and that went for the last several seasons. The last time that Ty Montgomery scored a touchdown, either as a running back or as a receiver, was in the 2018 season when he had one rushing touchdown. With that being said, also in 2021, in the receiving game, he did also have three drops. So a guy that is a little bit of prone to drops in the receiving game, like I said, not a great receiver, not a great receiver at all. Very mediocre, not going to get much out of him. Cordero Patterson was definitely a better receiver uh, at the time with the Patriots than Ty Montgomery is. Um, his overall grade for PFF in 2021 was 51.4, a receiving grade of 45.8, and a rushing grade of 69. 
In 2020, he suffered from one drop with an overall PFF grade of 59.2, a receiving grade of 44.7, and a rushing grade of 66.4. He's currently 29 years old, so you are getting a veteran. You are also getting a guy who's just below 30, so I do like the idea of continuing to bring in veterans and you know, still having guys that aren't hitting that peak of 30 years old, because that's usually where you start to digress. But Montgomery is also not really going to bring much speed to the Patriots offense either. When he ran his 40-yard dash, he ran a 455. I don't believe in any way, shape, or form he's gotten faster since then. So again, this is really just going to be your poor man's Cordero Patterson. Another way I've seen people floating this signing around is really your Brandon Bolden replacement. As we all know, Brandon Bolden has been really a key piece to this Patriots team for a long time. He left for Miami for one year, Patriots re-signed him, and now he's gone to the Raiders with Josh McDaniels. Now, while I don't believe that Brandon Bolden would have had a key role with the Patriots this year compared to what he had last year, he still would have been a depth piece, still would have been a guy that gets looks from time to time, but is going to mainly be a guy that plays on special teams. And that's honestly exactly what I'm expecting from Ty Montgomery, a guy you're mainly going to see on special teams. His bulk of play is going to be on special teams. His playmaking is going to be on special teams, but is going to serve as depth at wide receiver and running back if injuries, knock on wood, end up presenting themselves. But what are your guys' thoughts on Ty Montgomery and the New England Patriots signing him to a two-year deal worth a total of $4 million? Let me know in the comment section below. Also, remember to leave a big like on this video and subscribe to the channel for all of your New England Patriots news. I have you guys covered for everything, signings, releases, trades, the draft, mock drafts, rumors, all of this great stuff that you're only going to find here on the channel. So if you haven't already, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and also hit that bell notification once you do subscribe so you get notified for all the videos I post so you aren't late. But without further ado, I really appreciate each and every single one of you for watching. But like always, go Pats!